we want to solve the equation 1 half y plus 7 equals 1 eighth y. The solution is a value of y that makes the expression on the left side of the equation equal to the expression on the right. In order to solve for y, we need to isolate y on one side of the equation. But because the equation has fractions, we need to decide whether we want to work with the fractions or clear the fractions from the equation before solving. In this video, we will be clearing the fractions before we solve the equation. To clear the fractions from an equation, we multiply both sides of the equation by hopefully the least common denominator, but any common denominator would work. So again, our goal is to solve the equation 1 half y plus 7 equals 1 eighth y. Because the denominators are 2 and 8, the least common denominator is the least common multiple of 2 and 8, which is 8. And therefore, to clear the fractions, we will multiply both sides of the equation by 8. Again, we could multiply by any common denominator, but if we multiply by the least common denominator, there will be less simplifying later. On the left, we distribute. Let's go ahead and show each product. We would have 8 times 1 half y plus 8 times 7 equals, on the right, 8 times 1 eighth y. For the products involving a fraction, let's write 8 as a fraction with a denominator of 1 here and here. And now let's find each product. Before multiplying here, we can simplify. 2 and 8 share a common factor of 2. There's 1, 2, and 2, and 4, 2's, and 8. Notice how now the product is just 4 times y, which equals 4y, plus 8 times 7 equals 56. On the right, we have 8 over 8, which simplifies to 1 over 1. This product is just 1 times y, which equals y. Notice now we have eliminated the fractions. And now we want to solve this equation in order to solve the original equation. So again, our goal here is to isolate y on one side of the equation. It would be less steps to isolate y on the right side, but since most prefer to have the variable on the left side of the equation, we want to eliminate or undo the y on the right side, and therefore our next step will be to subtract y on both sides of the equation. Simplifying, we have 4y minus y, or if we want 4y minus 1y, which is 3y, plus 56 equals y minus y is 0. So now we have the equation 3y plus 56 equals 0. The next step is to isolate the y term by adding or subtracting. And therefore, to undo plus 56, we will subtract 56 on both sides of the equation. Subtracting 56 undoes plus 56, or 56 minus 56 is 0. So now we have 3y equals 0 minus 56 is negative 56. Last step is to multiply or divide to solve for y. 3y means 3 times y. To undo multiplying by 3, we divide both sides by 3. Simplifying, dividing by 3 undoes multiplying by 3. So the left side simplifies the y or 3 divided by 3 equals 1, and 1 times y is y. On the right side, the fraction does not simplify because the only common factor between 56 and 3 is 1, and therefore the solution is y equals negative 56 thirds. Before we go, though, let's verify our solution by substituting negative 56 thirds for y in the original equation to make sure the left side of the equation equals the right side. Performing the substitution, we'd have 1 half times negative 56 thirds plus 7 equals 1 eighth times negative 56 thirds. Let's evaluate both sides on the calculator. So 1 half times negative 56 thirds plus 7. Enter. To convert to a fraction, we press math, enter, enter. So we have negative 7 thirds on the left, and on the right we have 1 eighth times negative 56 thirds. Enter, math, enter, enter. Both sides of the equation are equal to negative 7 thirds when y equals negative 56 thirds, which verifies our solution. Again, the left side is equal to the right side when y equals negative 56 thirds. Verifying our solution is correct. I hope you found this helpful.